Ken Capstick was a unionist of the National Union of Mine Workers during the 1984 strike. Ken, let's start from the beginning. When did you start working as a miner? What was it like? Well, I started working in the coal mines when I was 15. Uh, I left school, it was Easter, uh, and uh, we, were all, uh, we were all full of the joys of spring because we had left school, we were out of bondage, uh, and uh, really happy about that. Not long after, a matter of a few days, and I was working in the coal industry uh, and uh, got the shock of my life. Um, working underground in the coal mine was not uh, very nice. Uh, I would be up at half past four in the morning uh, and uh, I would tramp to the coal mine with my father and my uncle. and. Uh, I I felt like, like it was a living hell that I had landed in. Um, and then gradually I sort of got used to it and then spent 38 years as, as a coal miner. You say that you gradually got used to the job. What did you like about working with miners? I liked the comradeship, I liked the friends, I knew uh, as I, as I say in, in my Guardian article, uh, the coal mine rang to the sound of, sound of laughter. We, uh, there was a lot of fun and, uh, and I had lots of friends that I still have now. Um, and, you know, they, they were the salt of the earth. They, uh, wonderful, wonderful people that, uh, and I miss them now that I don't work in the coal mines, but I still represent them wherever I can. How about when you became a unionist? Which parts of the job gave you most satisfaction? If, if, tra if being a trade unionist at the pit uh, gave me any satisfaction, it did give me a lot of satisfaction, a lot, but the main satisfaction I should say is that uh, I, w I, was managed, I was able to help miners who were injured in the coal mines, because it's, it's terrible. And I once, uh, I once carried a friend out of the pit on a stretcher who was dead. And you never forget anything like that. And for a miner to leave his own and to go to work and go down the mine and not come back to his family has to be the most horrendous thing you can think of. Uh, and, you know, it still affects me. <laughs>